Hi, my Wangy the Million family. Um, today, I'm going to show you how to do two quick meals. It's going to be Spam Wasubi and Spam Rice Balls. It's going to be quick and easy, I promise. And I'm going to try to do it in one take. <laughs> so bear with me, okay? Good or bad, mistakes or not mistakes, I'm going to just try, try to do it in uh, one take. Okay, here we go. I already took the Spam out of the can like that. I like to use the 25% but y'all can use any brand you want, but this is just me. And so you cut up, you slice the Spam on the however thick that you want. If you like a lot of Spam, cut it a little bit thicker. Uh, I like a little bit thinner Spam, so I'm gonna cut it, uh, I don't know. I wanna say maybe a fourth an inch or, or, or a third of an inch, I guess. I'm gonna do a couple of these, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and start frying them. I had the pan going right here. And I'm gonna do uh, probably, I don't know, maybe half of it, but I'm gonna do a little bit more because I'm gonna also do the spam rice balls, okay? And I'll show you how to do that as well. Go ahead and slice them. I like spam, but I don't like too thick of a spam. But of course, if you like it cut up thick, you can do that as well, okay? Alrighty. Get that going in there. Mmm, it's already starting to smell really good. Okay, now I am going to take my cutting board away. We're done with that part of it, okay? I'm gonna put it right here just in case I need it again. And I'm going to bring my pan close to me so you guys can see it. And let's let that go and cook. Do you smell it? I love the smell of it. I love the smell of it. And I love the, the taste of fried spam. Now my daughter can eat it just like this without cooking it. I kind of have to cook it <laughs> to eat it. Uh, she likes it just like this. I caught her one time. She took it straight out of the can and just bit off of it, a big bite of it without even cutting it up. That girl loves her spam. Okay, I want to show you my, uh, my neat pan that I got. My nephew bought me this for Christmas, and I absolutely love it. Um, this is when I'm going to do my bulgogi uh, barbecue, Korean barbecue on it. But I thought I'd use it right now for this fan. I think it's cast iron. And it's awesome. It also has a little area for the oil to come out. But, you know, spam doesn't really have that much oil. I mean, it has its own oil, but not that much. So we're going to just fry it until it's brown. And then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Okay, so now that I've cooked some, I'm gonna cook some out because we're gonna make those with our uh, uh, Spam ball. Now to flavor this for our wasubi, I'm going to put some, it's gonna sizzle, so let me turn it down a little bit. Two tablespoons of fish, uh, soy sauce. One tablespoon of water. And a teaspoon of sugar gonna mix it, okay? Gonna flavor our spam. It's be delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Flip it.
Alrighty. That, my friend, is all the cooking we're gonna do, okay? So I'm gonna take this out. Okay, and I'm gonna move my little burner over because we are done with that, okay? Okay, now we're gonna use our, um, our rice that I have right here ready so remember i told you to save your uh your can so i'm gonna try doing this okay so we're gonna put a little bit of saran wrap in there so that we can pull it out and this is gonna be the shape of our uh spam wasabi okay so i'm gonna put it in there and this saran wrap is gonna be easy for us to pull it out now you can, there is a uh spam wasubi mold but i don't have one <laughs> and i thought this would be just as good let's put it in here let me put that down all the way down okay okay now we get our rice we have right here oh yeah i'm gonna flatten it to about i don't know a fourth High from the uh, top. Let's see if I can flatten it down some more. Okay. Get some more rice in there. I'm gonna flatten it, and this is gonna shape it as well. Okay. Hopefully, I shaped it very nice. Okay, now I'm gonna add some furikake in there. The new one. Okay, mm, I love that. Remember we use this on, in my sushi bake? It's so good. Okay, so I'm gonna sprinkle it. So that's what it looks like. So I'm gonna sprinkle it right there, as much as you want. Okay, so I like that kind of look, I don't know. A tablespoon or two okay then we're gonna take our spam and we're gonna put it in right there press it down that is hot <laughs> okay. okay all right and I'll, remember we're almost done okay, here we go let's see if I did it good I'm gonna put it on here. But first, before I do that, I'm going to lay our nori that we had, right? And you can do the whole sleeve, just do like a, sli a thin uh, slice of, thin slice. So I'm going to do, let me see how I want to do this. The whole thing. Okay. So I'm going to do half. Okay. There we go. I'm going to lay that on there. Oh, look at that guys. That's pretty good, huh? Okay. Let's see if I can take it without it falling apart. Good job. Okay. Yay, look at that. Okay. Then now we're going to seal it. Okay. There we go, guys. This is kind of a thin one. Okay. So it goes like that, okay? Then you can slice it. Oops, it came apart. <laughs> I think because I bought a little flimsy one, but that's okay. Let's go down this way. There we go. There you go, guys. Look. 
Let's try it, okay? Mmm. Mmm, that's very good. Mmm, that's a good thing. It's falling apart. <laughs> but it's still good. I think it's because I bought the thinner nori, if I bought the thicker one, it would stay together. So let's do that next time, buy a thicker one. But you get the gist of how to do it, and it's so good. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Good. That is good. Okay. So that is one way to do that, right? And it's delicious. I'm gonna put that aside. And we're going to do the balls. And this part is going to be yummy. Okay? So, we're going to slice it. Okay. I'm going to put it in our bowl. Oh my gosh, that is so good. <laughs> Did you see how easy that was? And that's just steamed rice. I didn't put um, any of the uh, vinegar or sugar to make it uh, uh, sushi rice. It's just regular. And then that nori really makes it really taste good with that spam. And also the sugar and the soy sauce and the water mixed with that spam is delicious. Next time I'll get the, the, the nori that's a little bit stronger to eat, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna put some rice in here. Okay, and then our furakaki. This one really gives it a good flavor too, okay? I'm gonna mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it. Okay, so mix it like that. Gonna be so good okay so it looks like that so now what you're gonna do is you can take your hand you know my hands clean and you're gonna put it into a ball okay make it into a ball so squeeze it really tight together I'm gonna move that over okay put it in a ball like that Gonna be good and yummy. Okay. Do one more to show you. Told you it was really quick. And that is your uh, your rice balls. Then now, you get your little sesame seeds. Put it in a, uh, on a plate. And you roll the ball that you squeeze together. And you roll it over the sesame seeds. <laughs> but it shouldn't come up. <laughs> okay, it's not going as far as planned, but it's good. Oh, there we go. Remember what I said, one take, regardless if it's gonna be blooper or whatever, it's gonna be a take, okay? <laughs> Remember, when I do on the, whatever I do on the camera, 
is what I do first up. I've never practiced before. I just do it. So I know this time I told you no retakes, nothing. So, okay. So anyways, there's my balls. <laughs> it's looking good. It's looking very good. Thank you very much. You should come taste it. It's even better. Okay. All righty. Okay. All right. Let me move everything out of the way. Get my towel in. And there you go. Is my rice balls. No, they look pretty now that I did it. All right. So let's have a little taste. Okay, let's go. Mmm. That was really good. With the sesame seed. Mmm. I didn't flavor the rice, but it's so flavorful. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And I may also made a mess, but I think it tastes a little bit better. With the nori. So I'm gonna wrap it. Y'all, this is so good. Forget about my blunder. This is delicious. Um yes. That seaweed brings takes it up. Let me take another bite. Oh my gosh, this is so good, guys. Forget about all that blunder that I did. Forget about all that whatever. It didn't come together. The flavor is there. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. So, that was it. That's everything. So easy, so simple to make. I hope you try it. You have all the ingredients from the last sushi bake I taught you how to do. You should have it still. Make it, try it, and you will love it. So I hope you have a great evening, and we will see each other soon. Have a wine in a million day.